Hi everyone, welcome to RPV Resonance Chemistry. Let's continue to my lectures on polymer chemistry. Today I am going to discuss about uh, like another class, another type of polymers. In previous classes, I had to discuss about like a uh, plastic polymers. Today I am going to discuss about uh, like uh, fabric polymers. So generally, fabric polymers are uh, synthesized by the like uh, step growth polymerization. That is nothing but a condensation process. Okay. So fabric materials are uh, generally poly polyester derivatives are poly uh, like amide po polymers polyesters are polyamide polymers okay now let us discuss those polyesters and polyamide polymers one by one very clearly so the first of all polyesters in polyesters we are familiar with that uh, that is a uh, best polyester is a uh, terlin or dacron okay both are the same terlin or dacron so the first one is a terlin and second one is like a glyptol this is the glyptol. So these two are the very important polymers regarding to the polyesters. Okay, now let let us uh, discuss the first first one that is a terlin. Simply, it is called as like a dacron, or it is myron. Okay, simply it is a dacron, terlin, or myron. Okay, all are the same. Okay, so it is the like a, a process of condensation polymer. It is an example of a condensation polymer. So generally, the starting materials are. So this is simply it is called as ethylene. Okay, so ethylene which having the two OH functionality at adjacent position simply it is called as ethylene glycol. Simply it is called as ethylene glycol. So whenever ethylene glycol will treated with a like a so this is called as benzoic acid. Benzoic acid having the another carboxylic acid functionality that is called a th like a if other position is there that is thalic acid like a para position is there it is called as a terthalic acid. Simply it is called as terthalic acid. So this is the terthalic acid. So the combination of like the combination of two different monomeric units, like one is ethylene glycol and another one is a like a terthalic acid. This is ethylene glycol, ethylene glycol and a terthalic acid. So at a 420 to 460 Kelvin temperature and a higher pressure, high pressure. So we will get the this kind of polymer. Simply here, COOH. Okay, now here, so OH is not there, C double bond O. Okay, now here OH from tartalic acid and uh, here the H from like alcohol. So here water is eliminated, here water is eliminated. Now it forms the like a CH2, like a CH2 O, OH. Okay, so it is having the, these kind of polymers. In the first step, it closes one water molecule from like a, both a, like a tartalic acid and Ethylene glycol. So it loss of one water molecule. It gives the like a dimer form. It, it gives the dimeric form. So another step here. It, it is a treated with another molecule of like a tartaric acid as well as a ethylene glycol. It loses another another molecule. Okay. Now each and every step it was a losses the small moieties like water molecule or HCl. In this class here only water molecule is eliminated. So it is nothing but a stepwise manner. That's why it is a step growth polymer. It is indicated as step growth polymer. Step growth polymer is nothing but a it is an example of condensation polymer condensation polymer it is the like a thermoplastic polymer it is an example of thermoplastic polymer thermoplastic polymer so the nature of a polymer is nothing but a fabric it is in the nature of like it is a fiber fiber nature it is in the form of fiber nature simply it is called as a tartaric acid i think it is very clear okay ethylene glycol and another monomeric unit is a terthalic acid. So the combination of ethylene glycol and terthalic acid, it produces the uh, polymer. So simply it is called as a terlin. This polymer is called as a terlin or dacron or mylar. Okay, dacron or mylar. So just the sake of uh, like a small change. So here it produces the another type of polymer. Okay, now here it is the ethylene glycol, CH2, CH2, OH. OH okay now here the like instead of a tartaric acid we use it to take the like a thalic acid okay simply it is called as benzene so benzene having the single COH functionality is benzoic acid it having the two two COH functionality at a adjacent position that is nothing but other position so here it is called as a thalic acid okay so instead of a tartaric acid we use it the thalic acid we use it the thalic acid now we will get the this kind of a polymer C double bond O, O, CH2, CH2, O, like here, C double bond O, okay. So we will get the, this kind of polymer. So just to change of the, like a tartaric acid to thalic acid. Simply it is called as glyptol. Simply it is called as 
glyptol. So this is the second polymer in polyester. Second polymer in polyester. These two are the very best polyesters in like a very best uh, fiber fabric materials in polyester functionality. Okay. So here, uh, in case of like a uh, condensation polymer, it having the both by like like a like it is a dual functionality it having the more than one function okay one is the like carboxylic acid functionality another in is the OH functionality in case of each and every step growth manner okay now let's move on to the like uh, polyamides i think it is clear okay now let us discuss the like polyamides. So this is also a kind of a fiber materials. Polyamides. Okay. In case of polyamides, we are aware about uh, like uh, those polyamide polymeric forms. That is nothing but nylon six, nylon six six, nylon six ten. So these are the fibric material. Okay. Now we are, let us discuss the one by one. Nylon six six. So the nylon six six is a polymer of a condensation polymer. Okay. Condensation. Is nothing but a loss of small moieties. Okay, it is a copolymer, two different monomeric units. That is the copolymericity. Okay, now here in case of a nylon six six, we use the like a CH two CH two like a CH two is six times CH two having the six times it having the two NH two groups. Okay, six CH two that is nothing but a hexamethylene two amine groups. That is nothing but a hexamethylene diamine. Hexamethylene diamine so this is the one partner one monomeric unit so another monomeric unit is is nothing but a like a ch2 ch2 like a ch2 ch2 cooh cooh okay we know that uh, like it is a cooh is that this is the oxalic acid if one methyl group is there melanic acid like two methyl groups is that succinic acid three is there glutaric acid like if four carbons is there like in this case of uh, these kind of polymers four carbons is there this is called as adipic acid. It is a series of carboxylic uh, acid, dicarboxylic acid, adipic acid. Are you clear? Okay, so if these two are directly connected, that is oxalic acid. If one methyl, one methylene group is there, that is the malic acid. Then two methyl groups, succinic, three methyl groups, glutaric. If four methyl groups are there, that is nothing but adipic acid. That is nothing but adipic acid. If 10 is there, then it is sebacic acid. Okay, now here the combination of hexamethylene diamine and adipic acid it gives the a new kind of polymer at five like a 555 high temperature, 553 the Kelvin temperature and high pressure. High pressure it produces the new kind of a polymer. So that is nothing but CH2, like here six times NH2. Okay, now one of the hydrogen from hexamethylene diamine and one OH from the like a uh, adipic acid one OH from the adipic acid so here NH so th this is connected to the C double bond O like uh, now here it is having the C double bond O again four methylene groups are there that is a CH2 four times CH2 four times again another carboxylic functionality is there this is the carboxylic acid functionality here it is the NH okay so this is the n number of uh, n number of times uh, it will be taken it will be done okay that is a, a stepwise manner it will uh, eliminate it as water molecule as a small moiety here it is eliminated water molecule that's why it is also example of step growth polymer as well as condensation polymer so two different uh, two different monomeric units are used that's why it is also called as copolymer so see here simply it is called as nylon 66 so this is the uh, nylon 66 okay the combination of nylon 66 is so hexamethylene diamine as well as adipic acid it is nothing but nylon 66 okay so are you clear about uh, 66 term if you don't know okay so with the help of a uh, 66 term you can easily find the those monomeric units okay now here in this case of a uh, hexamethylene diamine how many carbons are there six carbons now in case of adipic acid how many carbons are there Four, not only four, even the carboxylic acid also having the carbon. So that's why it having the six carbon atoms. So here six carbon atoms, here six carbon atoms. So these two six indicates like one monomeric unit having the six carbons, another monomeric unit having the six carbons. That is the like nylon six six terminology. Nylon six six terminology. Okay. Now instead of um, nylon six six, we can easily prepare the nylon six ten. That is the same material of uh, first monomer. CH2 like six times NH2 so here it is the NH2 so now here CH2 it is the CH2 eight times 
COOH, like a COOH. So here we use the like a four CH2s, two carboxylic acid. That is totally six carboxylic acid. Now here six CH2s. That is sorry, eight methylene groups as well as two carboxylic acid. Totally ten carbons are there. Simply it is called as sebacic acid. Simply it is called as sebacic acid. It is as usually hexamethylene, hexamethylene diamine. So the combination of these two will give the this kind of polymer NH CH2 six times NH like C double bond O CH2 eight times C double bond O. So this is the n number of ten. So this this is simply it is called as a nylon six ten nylon six ten. So these six and ten indicates a six number of uh, hexamethyl one more or six number of carbons are there in one monomeric unit another monomeric unit, unit having the ten number of carbon atoms that indicates nylon six ten nylon six ten it is very easy okay now let us discuss the just nylon six just nylon six nylon six so now here the nylon six indicates it is the seven member ring. Seven member ring, so it having the NH C double bond. So simply it is called as caprol atom. So cyclic amides are called as lactams. Okay. Now here simply it is it is amide. Okay. So the amide is in the form of a cyclic nature. Simply it is called as a lactam. Okay. So now esters in the form of a cyclic simply it is called as a lactones so the terminology is different this is the lactam this is the lactone this is the lactone this is the different terminology in cyclic and uh, general formula okay so here it is the capro lactam lactam indicates it having the amide functionality it having the amide functionality so on heating the capro lactam we will get the, this kind of material that is a c double bond o so on having the c double bond o again on, on this c double bond o here it is breaks okay so on heating it it, it nh and the c double bond o bond is broken broken okay now here co it having the how many number of carbon atoms one two three four five so one two three four five carbon atoms are there so that is a ch2 five times here it is the nh so this is the a polymer here only one monomeric unit is there, only one monomeric unit is there. So those monomeric unit having the how many number of carbon atoms? So here five carbons along with the carbonyl carbon, that is totally six carbons. It is also a fiber material. So it is also comes under nylon family. So this is nothing but a nylon six material, nylon six fiber, nylon six fiber. So all these kind of uh, like uh, these five polymers which are used in the like a fabric material manufacturing fabric material manufacturing sometimes it substituted the some of the metal atoms also okay so not only these five like uh, yesterday yesterday polymer there is nothing but pan pali acrylonitrile it is also a fabric material a fiber material it is also a fiber material so these six are the fabric fabric polymers okay so that's all for this video it having the like a lot of uh, huge molecules regarding to the polymer chemistry thank you so much for watching